What is up guys, welcome back to another episode of Joe's Tech. Today we're going to be taking a look at, uh, well, let's just show you this fancy BenQ screen bar e-reading lamp. Uh, you know, I wouldn't typically say like I wanted to check out a lamp, but uh, since it's from BenQ and everything they make so far seems to be pretty well designed, I wanted to take a look at this and it's, you know, obviously designed with productivity in mind and I can't imagine it being, uh, you know, too cheap or unfancy so uh why don't we see what's inside instead of doing like a crazy formal unboxing why don't we just unbox it right here let's do that how about that yeah okay so we have uh, our box here and uh let's just throw this stuff there's some paperwork here and actually we got everything it's pretty pretty nice we got uh, the light bar itself this is this mount and of course the usb i think it's just a mini usb or micro usb cable um so let's start with this mount here. Uh, so yeah, it's actually really heavy. I'm assuming this is some type of weight. Uh, and then it just kind of has like a, uh, you know, elastic top there. Uh, the light bar looks like it sits inside there. So I'm guessing it just chills on top of the monitor. This is just a weight to keep it from falling off. And the monitor just sits there. So there is like a nice rubberized pad here on the inside front lip. So it doesn't scratch the front or the top of your display. Um, and then I don't think there's anything behind this. There might be another. I think there is actually a piece of rubber behind this plastic as well. It's all wrapped up though. Of course, as I mentioned, there is a USB cable, nothing crazy there. But then we have the light bar itself. I'm not sure how well you'll be able to see this in this shot, but uh, we have the light bar, like I said. Uh, there's this long, let's see if you can spot it. There's this long line of LEDs in there uh, that looks pretty solid. And then of course this, uh, just reflective metal, which I'm guessing is just to kind of spread that, that light around. Um, this feels like it's like an aluminum case. It, it feels like it's actually got some nice weight to it. And of course we have our buttons here, which are not click or press. They're just like, a like touch sensitive buttons, I guess you would say. Uh, so we have our power. I believe this is for brightness. This is for temperature. And then I think, uh, it actually says right here, hue adjustment and a light sensor, light sensors right here. So, uh, why don't we go ahead and, uh, I'll set this up on a monitor and kind of just, I guess, give you the rundown on, uh, how to use this fancy lamp. Install of the screen bar is actually really simple. You slip the LED bar into the mount they provide, making sure to keep that USB port to the rear opening. Set the mount on top of your display and plug the supplied USB cable into the rear of the LED bar. The other end of the provided USB cable is just a regular A-type connection, so you can plug that into your desktop, the rear of your monitor, or if you guys would rather use a power brick from like a cell phone or something else, you can use that as well to power the screen bar. At the top of the fixture, there's a brightness button furthest to the left, which would, if held, allow you to adjust to the brightest level or the dimmest level. And you can also just press that button over and over if you want to go somewhere in between there. The second button furthest to the left is the temperature adjustment. Just like the brightness, you can hold this down if you'd rather go to the coolest or you can do the reverse order. Again, press it to go to the warmest temp. Colors should land you somewhere between 2700K and 6500K. Moving down the line on the other side of the mount, there's a automatic brightness adjustment button, which basically allows you to adjust the brightness of the LED bar based on the amount of light in your room. To adjust for this, it leverages the light sensor that you can see at the top left side of the mount. Finally, of course, on the furthest right side of the bar, we have the power button, which basically just turns the fixture on and off and has this nice fade when you turn it on or turn it off. Obviously, when it comes to desk lamps, there's only so many things we can discuss, but one of the major benefits that I did find with the BenQ screen bar is that, uh, you know, on a typical desk lamp, you're going to lose a lot of space on your uh, surface, and of course, with the screen bar, you're able to just mount that right on top of your display, saves a lot of room, and it's still really, really bright, so you're not going to be sacrificing that light output uh, by switching from a regular desk style lamp to the LED bar that we have in, you know, in the screen bar. I also like the fact that you're able to adjust the warmth of the light 
for those of you guys who would rather you know get rid of the blues if you're doing a long session for like studying or reading or you know whatever it is and you want to get rid of those blues you can go to a nice warm color or you know maybe it's during the daytime and you want to have some of that bright blue light uh, you know you're able to do that as well now the one downside is it does come at a cost the screen bar is a $99 fixture of course I'll put links down in the description if you guys want to check those out $99 does seem like a pretty hefty price when it comes to a desk lamp but like I said there are some added benefits with this variant of desk lamp uh, and I wouldn't say that there is anything about the screen bar that feels cheap so I definitely would say if you're paying that hundred bucks you're definitely gonna get the quality piece out of the fixture I am curious for those of you guys who stumbled into this video or maybe you're already subscribed is the screen bar something that you guys could see yourselves adding to your desk or do you think there's maybe a better solution out there feel free to let me know down in the comments section below of course if you guys have any feedback concerns questions all that stuff always happy to hear it down there as well if you enjoyed the video don't forget to leave me a thumbs up on the way out and of course if you want to subscribe and see more tech videos like this in the future don't forget to hit that button and hit the bell for notifications until next time guys this has been joe's tech i'll see you in the next video